The objective is to solve multi-step word problems using the standard algorithm modeled with tape diagrams. Here is a problem. Read along. The city flower shop sold 14,594 pink roses on Valentine's Day. They sold 7,857 more red roses than pink roses. How many pink and red roses did the city flower shop sell all together on Valentine's Day? Let's solve this with drawing a tape diagram so that we can better understand this problem. What is this problem about? Right, roses that the city flower shop is selling. What kind of roses are being sold? We have pink roses, and we also have red roses. The problem shows us that there are 14,594 pink roses, which we can go ahead and model. There's another type of rose that is being sold, and we have red roses that are being sold. It says they sold 7,857 more red roses than pink roses. So we have that same amount first, except there's actually more. How much more? Right, 7,857 more than that initial amount of 14,594. So the total amount of red roses would be this number here. Now that's not the question that's being asked though. It says, how many pink and red, red roses did the city flower shop sell all together? And then so what we're really solving for is this variable here, r, all of the roses that are being sold. What does this bottom bar represent again? Right, the number of red roses that are sold. And the top bar represents the number of pink roses that are sold. So to solve for R, we'll add the totals for both bars together. Let's figure out the total for this bottom bar. Let's make sure to line up the digits using that standard algorithm. Four plus seven is 11, one, regroup a one. In the tens place, I have one plus nine, which is 10, plus five, which is 15 tens. So I place a five and regroup the one. One plus five is six, plus another eight is 14. Four, regroup another one. In the thousands place, I have one plus four, which is five, plus seven, which is 12, or 12 thousands. So I'll place a two, regroup the one and one plus one in the 10 thousands place is two. So for this red here, and let's grab a different color here, for the red roses, I now have my bottom bar figured out as 22,451. Remember the question that's being asked is how many pink and red roses that are being sold on that day? So I will take both bars then and put them together. Lining up our digits and carefully adding those numbers together and regrouping where it is that I need to, I get 37,045. And that is the number of roses that is being sold all together on Valentine's Day just shrink this a little bit so that I get a little bit of room to go ahead and express my answer correctly. The city flower shop sold, and let's see, it's 37,045, which was going to be our answer for R. That's what we were solving for, that variable there. They sold that many pink and red roses. and it was on Valentine's Day. 
so I expressed my answer clearly there. Here's another word problem. On Saturday, 32,736 more bus tickets were sold than on Sunday. On Sunday, only 17,295 tickets were sold. Then it asks, how many people bought bus tickets over the weekend? Let's write out a focused answer first. Blank. People. Did what? They bought bus tickets over the weekend. And the weekend being Saturday and Sunday. We also want to draw, so we're using an RDW approach, or read, draw, and write. So let's draw, and let's use a tape diagram. What we know at this point, sure, this says 32,736 more bus tickets were sold on Saturday than on Sunday. We know at this point the number that was sold on Sunday. So we can model that number first as our Sunday number. And let's label it as 17,295. Let's use another bar to represent Saturday. And then we have a sentence there for Saturday. It says 32,736 more bus tickets were sold on that Saturday than on Sunday. So we have that Sunday amount, and we extend that tape diagram so that there are 32,736 more bus tickets sold on that Saturday than on Sunday. What we're solving for is the number of tickets that were bought over the weekend. So what we're solving for is this variable here, and then we'll use T standing for ticket. So remember this bottom bar represents the number of bus tickets that were sold on Saturday. And let's figure that out first. Line up our digits as we're using that standard algorithm to add those numbers together and be careful with our regroups. Looks like we have a regroup in the hundreds place as well and in the thousands place. One plus seven plus two is 10. So we place a zero and we regroup a one. In the 10 thousands place, I have a one plus one plus three ten thousands equaling five ten thousands. So that there are 50,031 and let me label that within my tape diagram. So then it'll be easier for me to see, that's the number I just figured out, it'll be easier for me to see how it is that we approach this problem to go ahead and solve for the total number of tickets sold. What do we do now? Right, we take the number of tickets that were sold on Sunday and we put it together or add it to the number of tickets that were sold on Saturday. Remember, we just solved for that. Be careful just to add the amount that we had solved and not our other add-ends there that we had used already in the previous problem. 5 plus 1 is 6. 9 plus 3 is 12. 2, regroup a 1. 100 and 200 is 300s. In the thousands place, we have seven thousands there. And in the ten thousands place, we have a six. So, T here, and the number of tickets sold, is equal to 67,326 tickets. And we can put that into our answer there. Read this answer with me. 67,326 people bought bus tickets over the weekend. Going back to the previous problem, we can use estimates to see whether or not our answer was reasonable. We had 17,295 tickets on Sunday, which is close to, if you think about 20,000, 
we had rounded that to the 10,000th place. So it's about 20,000 for the number of tickets that are on Sunday. On Saturday, it was more tickets. And then so on Saturday, it was more tickets, or about 32,736 more tickets, which is about, so we had the original 20,000 there, which was an approximation there. And then we had about 32,736 more tickets, which is about 30,000. So if we put together 20,000 and 30,000, we get 50,000. And remember our bar model here was T. In this case, we'll use U because we already used T. And U then, if we put together 20,000 with 50,000, we get 70,000 as the number of tickets or the about that many tickets sold. So there were about 70,000 tickets sold. And our actual answer that we got there was 67,326. So our answer does seem reasonable. So we can use estimates where it is that we're rounding those numbers that we're working with to check to see whether our answers are reasonable. Remember as you're solving these problems to always label and also to draw your tape diagrams so that you can better understand and break apart these problems so that they are simpler.